Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have another absolute trading masterclass for you all this morning where I am going to be going through this Bitcoin harmonic that you see on the screen talking through you through the rise and now the decline in price that we are seeing and I will be talking you through this short position that I am currently in. This was a short position taken from the harmonic that I just showed you. Yes, we managed to long the lows, short the highs, once again, just controlling this market. That was a short position that I entered overnight while asleep. Woke up this morning to about $580 profit. Really nice. You know, this is money that you make while you're sleeping. Nice to wake up to that. I'm hoping to make a little bit more. So let me talk you through this pattern that we have going on. It's just brilliant. It really, really, really is. So this is a uh, like a it's a bearish Gartley harmonic. OK, and let me tell you this, because I already know it's not the most beautiful pattern by any stretch of the imagination. But what do we want? You know, what do we really want from trading? Do we want beautiful charts or do we want to make money? I, sh I assure you, we all want to make money. So this is why. We have to recognize the signs. When's it a good time to long? Okay, when we're looking for the price to go up. When's it a good time to short? When we're seeing confluence and we're expecting price to go down. Those are the only two metrics that we're really caring about. We're caring about when price is going to go up and when price is going to go down. And if you can recognize those signs in advance, you're going to make money. It's as simple as that. And I have been showing you every single day We've been doing this. We've been timing the lows and highs. So think back to yesterday's video. Okay, think back to yesterday's video. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. It was another good one. Um, I was saying to you, I know I was showing you once again the short position that I was in. And I was explaining to you what we're waiting for to switch these shorts into longs. Okay, so I have this on my Twitter account. Um, you know, when we reached those lows, so it would have been this one. Yeah, so you can see. After that video, we did see another decrease in price. So, you know, you're welcome if you if you follow were following along because we saw that decrease in price. And as I was mentioning down here, my take profit one, again, I wasn't switching into a long at this point, but we're taking profits. OK, so when the price declines, we are not getting greedy. OK, because guess what most people are going to do as price declines? They get so greedy. They see their really nice gains and they think, Oh, it's going to go lower. You know, I'm not going to close out here. I'm not going to take profits because the number's going up and number's going to keep going up. Well, guess what? That is not how trading works. You do have to be very, very planned and very controlled. OK, so it's it's all about the psychology and the emotions in the market. And this is why I tell you, this is why I say it so many times. You know, you're going to have people that show you technical analysis. You're going to have people that have pretty charts and you're going to think mm, they have a pretty chart. They must be making money. Well, guess what? There is an absolute massive, massive, massive difference between sharing a pretty chart on Twitter or YouTube and actually having money on the line, actually making money consistently every single day. Every single day, I've been showing you $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 profit daily. And there is a big difference between making money and the pretty charts because this is you know think of this when price is going down here when price was getting that retrace yesterday you know i was sat in a short position is my thought process you know if you have no money on the line it's easy to just you know do nothing but when you actually have money on the line you have to make an informed decision at the time and the informed decisions that i'm seeing here is it's good it's a good time to take profits why we ran the lows okay so really simply we ran that low OK, really slightly, but nevertheless, we, we, we ran the low. We ran into some liquidity there. So I'm going to take profits. But at that moment in time, I'm not switching my short into a long because I'm not in the business of knife catching this. I'm in the business of making money and I'm in the business of seeing confluence. I want the strongest, most highly probable trades. OK, so think about it like this. Trading is a game of probabilities. Yes, you've seen me every single day nailing these moves. But guess what? I'm taking the high highest probable trades. OK, and if you're in my group, you'll know I've, I talk about this every single day. We're all about context and we're all about the, the you know, the, the probabilities in the trades. OK, so we're not after these, you know, 50 50 trades. I, I don't want to take a trade if it's a 50 50 gamble. I want to take a trade when I have 80 percent probabilities in my favor. And that's exactly what I had last night. I had 80 percent set up. You know, this is obviously what this is 80 percent probabilities. I mean, who's not taking that trade? If you're not taking that trade, you don't know what you're doing because it's it's a simple trade, you know. So when we have these highly probable trades, that's when we take the trades. OK, we're not after this sort of knife catching the long at this moment in time. Although, yes, obviously, in hindsight, and this is a great thing, isn't it? Hindsight. You can say, oh, yeah, you, Daniel, you could have made more money if you longed there. Absolutely. I could have made more money. But guess what? The probabilities of longing here are much 
lower than if I had waited for the reclaim once again of the channel. And this is the thing, not hindsight. There's the post yesterday at around 6 p.m. You know, you go back and check the charts. These are timestamps. Back at yesterday, I was saying I took the long scope. Okay, so I closed out my short, went into a long. Okay, I was asked, where's my take profit for the long? Take profit one, 9,190. So, and I'm also saying exactly the level that I want to hold, 9,060. So go back to this. You can see I was entering my long around here and you can see we never lost 9,060. We come up, we hit take profit one. And this is the thing. When it hits my take profit one, again, price went a little bit higher than take profit one, didn't it? We hit, we hit high around, you know, uh, 9,229. But if you refer, I refer you to this one, that's when I was getting into my long. That's where I closed out. The sh that's where I closed out my long. So entered the long 9,100, closed out 9,218. That's where I was recognizing the harmonic. And that's where I literally, literally closed out of the long, went into a short, woke up to this. Okay, $570 profit. That was last night. Okay, so you go again, like this is, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm i posting it all in advance in the group. I'm telling you exactly how I'm trading in the moment, real time updates, the take profits. You know, yes, I haven't nailed the exact bottom. I haven't nailed the exact top here, but I've got pretty close. And in terms of probabilities, that's what we're after in this game. We're, we're after the most highly probable trades. Okay, so now let me talk you through a technical analysis. I've talked you through the theory of why I was short yesterday, why I took profits at that low, why I then switched my short into a long why i then traded this long up to here where i then switched that long into a short every single one making money and now i want to talk you through what i'm looking at now so this is obviously a bit of a bear you know this is a, a bearish harmonic pattern where you reach d okay so you reach point d you have obviously from your x to your a to your b to your c to your d when you hit point d that's that's generally the high and you're expecting a little bit of a movement down but again, it's all about context. If you just start randomly trading the harmonics and you don't understand the, really the proper theory behind them, you're, it's very likely that you'll you lose money. And I'm just putting that out there. So you have to really understand the whole market context behind this. Okay. So what am I saying here? I, I believe that this, again, is a good take profit area. Why? Because, let me show you this, we're going to be running into Okay, we're going to be running into, I believe. Yeah, so you, okay, you've already ran into it. So the point of control of this range, this is, okay, we're below it at the moment, but nevertheless, it, one would use this as a take profit. Obviously, when I took my first profit this morning, I didn't realize that we were obviously going to low, go below it, but nevertheless, that is a good take profit. But we are now below that, by the way. <laughs> so but there you go. But nevertheless, these are sort of signs that you'd be looking for to say to yourself, like, are we going to be heading down lower? Are we reaching support? Is it a good time to take profit? Is it a good time to switch positions? So you, you've clearly seen what I've done. I mean, I've taken profit, but I haven't switched position. So I'm, I'm still in my short position, okay? And, um, you know, what? so what would I be looking for now? Where would I be looking for? Well, if I'm honest, I'm looking for, for lower prices at the moment. There's no reason for me at the moment to switch my short into a long. But there's obviously always this underlying, there's always this underlying uh, context that we could have of this is a low, this is a high, this is a higher low, this is a higher high, this could be our higher low again, and then we continue the market structure like this, okay? And we make our way up to the monthly. So you have to always think in terms of what's, obviously everything's possible in trading, so let's just get this out of the way, everything is possible in trading, but is it the most probable? And that's the question that you have to be asking yourself, like is it the most probable price from here goes up? Is it the most probable price from here goes down? That's what you need to be asking yourself before you enter every single trade. Acknowledge everything's possible. Price absolutely can go to 20K. Price can absolutely go to 1K. But what's the most probable? And that's what we're after. We're, af we're after that question of answering to ourselves, what's the most probable in this market? OK, so, um, you know, I believe at the moment it's most probable that we head still further down, H hence why I'm in, still in my short position. You know, I haven't got a reason yet to really close out of this. I see that we've, you know, we've just we've just, you know, lost the point of control. I see that I have 80 percent probabilities to hit the previous day value area low. Um, so I've, I've, I've got no real reason at the moment to close out of this short. And obviously, I'm very fortunate, or I suppose fortunate or just skilled, that I did get a short almost the high here. So I'm in a very fortunate position where I've taken profits on the short. And now if we come back and we regain market structure, I'm still going to make money even when I'm wrong. And I think that's the thing that most people struggle to comprehend. That in trading, you can be wrong on your trading ideas. And if you sensibly take profit, if you get an original good entry, even when you're wrong, you can make money. Okay, just think about that. Even when you're wrong, you can make money. How is that? 
it's all coming down to the emotions and the the acceptance of being wrong okay if i was in this short right now and i see price start going up and i don't get out of my short possibly early i don't put a stop loss i think to myself i'm in this trade and i'm going to be right price is going to where i'm going to say it's going and if it doesn't i'm just going to hold on to the trade that's how you lose money so how can i be wrong on this idea where i believe price is going lower and still make money i can be still i can still make money and be wrong on my idea by for instance taking profit when it hit that point of control as price comes up and i start to see strength i can i can i can just take a stop loss for example and because i've taken profits it's going to be, you know, it's going to be almost break even, you know, to be honest with you. But I can have still made a, a tiny percentage of money there or, or lost nothing. And that, that's that's the whole idea behind trading. You do want to reach a level in your trades where you just have this confidence, where you just have this sort of, you know, almost a flow, almost like a, just a connection with the charts. Okay. And it's, it's, it's really difficult to explain. It's like one of these things that, you know, honestly, experience is, is so necessary. Um, but, you know, you do reach this level where you just have a full on connection with the charts, you know, unforeseen almost, the, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to you think this is like crazy or stuff, but you do get this kind of connection where you can, you can almost foresee when price is going to turn around, you know, when I'm sort of like saying about these longs, obviously price could have gone down, but it's kind of like the confluences, the probabilities, they're in your favor and it's just more likely, you know, higher probabilities that you, that you do these things. So, um, I suppose that's what I wanted to bring you to. So, I mean, yeah, I'm expecting lower prices at the moment. And so in terms of a technical analysis here, it's kind of the same levels that we've been looking at for the last month. You know, still we got monthly resistance 9339. Okay, so monthly, just write it down. Don't forget it. 9339, resistance of the monthly. You break this, I think you're looking up to 9,425. You know, these levels are still the same as the levels that I've been mentioning for a long time now because the range is still almost the same. You know, we've, we've, we're have we've still in the same range. So my levels aren't going to ch suddenly change. So I'm still looking at 9,339. I'm still looking at 9,425. I'm still looking at 9,500 as resistance. Locally here, my next level that I'm looking for is still going to be 9,065. This is still our support. Give it a little bit of a front run, maybe 9,070. But this region is still support. This is still our channel, okay? And you might think this this is now, isn't it? This is like a little range within our bigger term time frame, higher term time frame range, okay? So it's all about remembering where you are, where you've come from. And I suppose that's a good meaning in life as well. Remember where you've come from. But, um, you know, this is all part of our higher term time frame range, okay? And yeah, I'm a I'm a day trader. I like to trade these lower term time frames, but I'm still remembering the context of the higher term time frame. So, um, you know, with that in mind, the levels that I'm trading from from a technical analysis perspective are still uh, I I still believe that we can get this push higher, okay? Maybe we're getting to get this drop first, which obviously I would I would prefer because I'm in the short right now, and I'm I would I'd say a little bit of a more of a drop before we could then potentially look higher, and it's the same as I'm saying yesterday. I'm in my short position right now, and I will happily switch this short into a long when I see a sign of strength. So I'm not trying to time the bottom. I'm waiting for the chart to prove to me that it wants to go higher. That's what I done yesterday. That's when I took that long and the chart did go higher. Okay, so I'm waiting for that evidence. I'm waiting for that sign of strength and then I will happily trade with the chart. OK, so today's video has been a little bit different. It hasn't been so focused on the technical analysis, if I'm honest here. It's kind of been more of a educational get into my brain kind of view. And I thoroughly hope that you appreciate that because it is honestly a privilege you're watching right now the greatest trader on crypto like period like who else <laughs> who else is showing you the evidence every single day every single day i'm doing this okay we're making profits consistently we're growing the account we've done, now done 15,000 in a week since we created this account which is like now 8 9 days we've done $15,000 profit on the challenge account this is just the challenge account that i created to record these trades i mean who else is doing this right now? Nobody, period. So it's obviously insanely, you know, I hope that you appreciate me sharing my time with you because it is kind of a privilege. So, I mean, um, yeah, that's the technical analysis. That's what I'm looking at. And I truly hope that you've taken notes. You've taken notes of why we ask ourselves before we take a trade. You know, take away from this video, before you take every trade, ask yourself, is this the most likely? What's the probability of this happening? Okay, how do we work out probabilities? Again, it's probably for another video, but you, you have to start to record statistics. You have to start to journal your trades. You know, you ask me, Daniel, how are you so confident in your own abilities? The reason I have confidence is not because... I'm a confident guy. It's, it's not because I, I'm i good on camera. You know, my confidence in trading comes 
from my own abilities. It comes from my own skills and it comes from the experience and evidence that I have in my trading abilities. I can prove to myself over time I can do this daily. You know, I have every setup that I like to take. I have the probabilities of that working out. Okay. So for example, the trade that I'm trading at the moment, I know it has an 80% probability of playing out. Okay. I know when we reach a CC to a weekly, you know, we're looking at highly probable trades you know every setup that i take and i have a criterion for trades that i'm taking i have statistics over the past 10 years of obviously not on cryptocurrency but across other markets as well i have the probabilities of how often my trades work out so my confidence in you know being asleep and taking these shorts seeing these longs you know playing out exactly as i would expect <laughs> funny comment there i don't know how you keep doing it but you just keep doing it and this is the thing i'm doing it every single day but you know i'm doing it because I have the statistical edges. I know exactly what I'm trading before I trade it. And I know exactly what I'm looking at. So um, another takeaway, I suppose, is journaling and statistics are, are highly are highly useful. That's how I get my confidence because I've seen this setup play time and time and time and time and time again. So it's not just like I'm randomly trading these things to randomly trade. I'm in this to crush these charts. I'm in this now as a mentor to show you that this is possible. You know, I could just not do a challenge account. I could just trade on my primary account where I'm obviously making a lot more money, but I'm doing this one to, to really prove to you. I'm happy to share this account. You know, I don't care if someone hacks it. So, you know, well, I, I suppose I do care. That's the wrong words, but I'm doing this challenge account to, to freely show you that, you know, this is doing this every day. And um, I hope that you can take the inspiration from this video. I hope you can see that there's finally someone in the cryptocurrency space that is transparent enough to show every single trade. You know, when I take a loss on this, you know, I'm going to be absolutely more than happy to share this. More than happy. I, I don't want you to think that I'm going to have 100% win rate through this. But when I take a big loss, I will more than more than happily share this with you. Okay. And I do believe that will also make for a good video. And I truly understand that you know, you want to see me take a big loss because then I can give you the educational reasons behind that loss. So, you know, why did I, did I take that loss? Why? How did I manage that loss? I'll be more than happy to do that when a, when a big loss comes on this account. But, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, so I'm, I'm more than happy to do this. But, you know, the reason I'm doing this challenge account is for the transparency for so you can see that it's real. You know, there's no one else in this space doing the games that I'm doing daily. And, uh, you know, I hope that you've, uh, you know, I hope that you enjoy this. I honestly do. And, um, you know, so yeah, those are the levels that I'm looking at. I hope that you hope you've enjoyed it. Let's remind ourselves one more time. So take away, if you're here for the analysis and you're not here for my ramblings, um, <laughs> then once again, we're looking at 9339 resistance, 9225, 25. Uh, you get above that, we're looking up for around 9,900, 10K. Uh, on the downside, you've got 9,070-ish 9, as support. Below that, you know, you, you are looking still down for this 9,000, uh, 8,950. Below that, I still think you've got 8,000. 1705 so i'm not saying we're going here we're going here i'm giving you the levels and i'm leaving that up to you now uh, you know you got to make your own decisions this video is not being financial advice it has been educational um video only so so no financial advice here do your own research do your own trades do you know trade how you want to trade if you want the guidance or you want to know how i'm trading in sort of real time you can see you know i'm updating this you know seconds after i take those trades you know, people asking, giving, take profits. If you want that sort of guidance, as well as primarily, you know, fully getting into my brain, fully understanding the theory behind these trades, then obviously uh, you can sign up for the mentorship and I'll be more than happy to to teach you. And, um, you know, that, that I, love to, I love it. I, I love this and... Um, I hope that you can see my passion that I have for trading and now obviously tra passion for, for teaching. I, I love to see the messages of people like, Daniel, you're changing my life. Like period, more and more people are saying this every day now and it's, it's brilliant to see. Um, so, you know, it's a pleasure to share. And obviously here on YouTube, I'm, I'm sharing this, hopefully the passion inspiration that you can get from these, you know, these trades. And isn't it a wonderful feeling? Isn't it just I guess for me anyway, it's, it's a wonderful feeling when you can nail these markets to the highs and it's and it's not so much about the money, but it is just the feeling of being right. You know, I've said it once and I've said it again, you know, I'm a highly competitive person and for me to like nail these trades, um, yeah, I, I, I absolutely love it. And I suppose then, yeah, I, I do get a bit of a buzz from like, <laughs> you know, sharing this on, on Twitter and YouTube, but you know, that that's just me and I apologize for that if, if you don't like it. But 
you know, this is this is my channel. <laughs> I'm going to do what I want. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've understood this harmonic. So just, I, I guess I'll explain this really, really quickly because I've been 20 minutes, too long, too long. Um, you know, this harmonic is obviously all from Fibonacci. Okay, so when you look at B, you can see here we're coming up to around a 786, 618. You drop down to the 0 0.5, and then you drop, you know, you come back up to the 786. So we get this, we get this harmonic from Fibonacci, okay? And this is why I love harmonics, because they're based off of Fibonacci. So we're looking at time, and we're looking at price. You see factors like time and price coming together. So again, it's not just getting the entry, it's timing the entry. Because imagine you shorted here, you know, imagine you shorted here. Well, then guess what? you get stopped out as you take the last highs. So you have to time these entries. Again, let's imagine you took the long here and then you get stopped out. So you have to be able to time the entries. It's not just about getting the right price. It's about getting the right price and then timing the entry correctly. Because if you don't time the entry, you're going to still lose money. So even if you're right on your idea, if you do not get the correct entry timing, then you're going to get stopped out before price moves in your way. How many times have you seen that? That you thought price was going to go down, but you enter your short, you get stopped out and then price goes down. You know, you've seen it time and time again because you don't time your entries, I suppose. So it's important. Hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it's, it's not been so much a technical analysis, I suppose, but I've given you my key levels that I'm still trading off of today and I'm making money off of these levels daily. So I hope that you appreciate those ones. And then I've given you some insights into how I've traded this over the last 24 hours, why I was looking at this harmonic, um, oh yeah, this, this this was obviously when I was posting it on Twitter, uh, you know, that new harmonic emerge that I was look, liking the look of, um, you know, and yeah, there you go. I suppose you can read, you know, these are, these are comments from people in the group and, um, you know, the, the, the members speak for themselves. I don't need to shell it so much. You can ask any, 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 any member. They're all going to absolutely love it because how can you not love it when I'm literally just teaching you a recipe to to just make money give yourself financial freedom change your own life and not just your own life but the life of your family it's powerful trading is powerful you put in the time you put in the effort there's absolutely no reason why you can't be making this money daily like i am as well so uh yeah hope that you've enjoyed this one and um yeah thank you so much cheers have a good day and uh yeah enjoy the trading and uh yeah thank you and goodbye bye